south, I'm referring to the parts of the south where you can actively grow throughout the winter. This is not somewhere that gets such a hard freeze that there's no active growth happening. So these are the lower parts of the south. For me, I am growing in central Florida, but really you could be actively growing up into the Carolinas, perhaps farther if you're using things like low tunnels and unheated greenhouses. For the lower south, this is a fantastic time of year for gardening. Um, things have started to cool down and the pest populations have subsided just a tad. So it's an excellent time to get those cool season crops in. For many Southern gardeners, this is the only opportunity to grow those really cold loving crops like carrots, beets, and brassicas. So let's dive into exactly what we can grow. For most of the South, unless you're really in the Southern Florida or the truly frost free regions, you're gonna to wanna to focus on cool weather loving crops. These are crops that can handle uh, cool temperatures, cool nighttime temperatures, frosts, and even freezes. But not to worry, there are actually lots of crops that love that weather. So let's get into them. Now, one of the easiest crops to grow over a winter in the South are brassicas. These are the members of the cabbage family or the mustard family. There are a whole bunch of brassicas that grow really well. So I'm gonna give you a big long list. Some of the easiest for you beginner gardeners or those who uh, like to have a guaranteed easy crop, things like kale, collards, mustard greens, those are super easy for a southern winter. Other brassica family members that you can consider would be things like cauliflower, broccoli, even Brussels sprouts can be achieved in the south if you time them just right. You can also grow kohlrabi very easily. So you have a long list of brassicas to choose from in the winter. Other brassicas that just thrive in a southern winter and we don't always think of first off are the Asian greens. Asian greens love the winter in the south. So anything from chiji masai, which is kind of like a tot soy, you could grow tot soy, which is also known as vitamin green. I love uh, yodfa, that's the Chinese broccoli. Super delicious, succulent leaves, one of my favorites. You could try things like Napa cabbage. That's another one that grows great over the winter in the south. And of course, there's an incredible range of different kinds of bok choys and komatsuna. So check out the Asian greens. They're going to be cold hardy. They're going to love a winter in the south you can sneak in multiple successions of your favorite greens in the winter in the south. So that means it is finally time to get true spinach in the ground. You can grow lettuce and you can grow kale. These and arugula is awesome in the winter in the south. So if you're expecting some cool weather, fear not, those greens love cool weather. They're going to power through your colder temperatures and you can succession sow them, meaning you can sow them every few weeks to ensure a continuous supply. Many of those can also be grown as cut and come again greens, which means you can harvest them and then let them grow back and harvest them again. You can get several harvests out of them. So very sustainable crop. There are some fantastic root crops that just thrive in a southern winter. Try all the different colors of carrots. You can do beets, you can try radishes, and you can try both the spring radishes, which you can sow multiple successions of, or the fall winter radishes, which are gonna grow bigger, they're gonna take longer to mature, and you'll get a few less successions of those. You can also get things like turnips. You can do the longer season turnips, the European style that get really big, or my personal preference are the Japanese style turnips. The small ones, they, they can be sown very frequently, they mature quickly, and they have this tender, soft texture that is just unmistakable. The Japanese turnips are just to die for. Some other crops that gardeners often overlook would be things like celtis, which is also known as stem lettuce. It's a lettuce type that creates a long, thick stem. You could grow the Asian cutting celeries, like the Chinese pink celery. This is an easier to grow celery that makes multiple small stalks, but it's incredibly versatile in cooking, really delicious, and it's very early to mature. Also, don't forget to grow peas. Peas love to grow up a trellis, and they love cool weather. If you're worried that you're gonna have super cool temperatures, peas are gonna be totally happy with that. They love cool weather, and if things get a little too cold, uh, they may not flower, but that's okay because you can still eat their delicious leaves and shoots. 
Now, if you want to grow alliums, those are onion family members, you have a lot of options. So you upper southern gardeners can grow garlic with ease, no problem. When you get into the really frost-free regions of the south, garlic can get tricky because it does like a cold period. So you can experiment, maybe putting your garlic in the fridge, um, tricking it into vernalization. There are some videos online about how to do that. Uh, but you can also grow short day length onions very easily in the south. So here's the deal. You can't just grow any old onion in the south in the winter. You have to grow short day onions. It'll say in the description whether it is a short day, a long day, or an intermediate day. So just choose short day onion varieties. These are things like Texas Early Grano or White Creole. These are varieties that can bulb up and make a proper onion bulb when the day length is short. Now, if you're concerned that that's a little bit too tricky, just try bunching onions and scallions. Those are very easy to grow over the winter in the south. And of course, you could th try things like chives, Chinese chives, that's another way to get your onion fix and not have to worry about day length or anything like that. Woo! So that was an exhaustive list. I hope that gave you lots to chew on. You Southern gardeners have a beautiful season ahead of you. I hope you get sowing your seeds, ordering, planting wherever you're at, and happy gardening.